What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. All right, so this video is about how to write a screenplay because now is the perfect time. Um, so I'm gonna give you five specific tips on how to get you going, um, you know, from the perspective. I've made four feature films, I've written them um, all, and I've written other scripts for clients. So, uh, you know, and then I also write for uh, the South China Morning Post. Tip number one is pitch your idea to somebody you're close to. Make sure that person is going to give you an honest answer, but pitch them, tell them, you know, what you, you know, what you think about the characters, what they're going to do, how it's going to end, all those different things. And, um, you know, ask that person whether they think it's a movie that they would want to see, because that's essentially what we're trying to make is a movie when you're writing a script. Um, and then two is, you know, you definitely want to think about whether this, this film is makeable um, for a reasonable budget, you know, if it's a blockbuster, hey, that's okay. You you want to write that blockbuster, but the likelihood of that being um, so amazing that someone like Disney is going to pick that up is very uh, low, especially if you're a first time writer. If you've written many scripts, then you're probably not watching this video. Um, okay, so um, and then the final thing is what makes this script unique. Uh, so, for example, Super Capitalist, for me, you know, doing um, a finance movie out in Asia was something that I hadn't seen before, especially in the English language and then across, you know, different contents, uh, continents, li linking New York and Hong Kong. Um, you know, that for me was like, hey, that's a, that's that's an idea that I haven't seen. And so I want to see that movie. Um, and I and I love those stock trading movies. Tip number two is then you're going to deep dive into um, the subject. For my first movie, it was about finance, so I read everything on finance. I read uh, you know, books about hedge funds and things like that and articles um, you know, uh, for, um, let's say, agent. You know, I watched a lot of um, alien conspiracy videos um, in which you'll hear references to um, you know, uh, for example, there was this um, Dolce base out in New Mexico where it's like underground and people, you know, are, are the U.S. government is like looking at aliens and, um, you know, all this, all, you know, all the different places around the world that um, are, uh, you know, under some sort of alien influence and in how they were built. I did a ton of research on those things. And then obviously I've, I took a lot, uh, took a lot took a look at a lot of my favorite films like Predator and Aliens and uh, a lot of those all those influences are in there. If you are new to writing a screenplay I would highly recommend obviously that you read some screenplays and just get the syntax right. You know you can always fix that later on if you're just trying to write it but um, you know you know it doesn't take it doesn't take long to look at um, what's been done before and you know follow that format. Um, okay, so tip number three is then write a treatment. Um, I can't stress how super important this is because um, that'll help you flush out what exactly happens. Um, and of course, the you know I think the thing that um, really is where a lot of films struggle is the ending. How does it like finish? A lot of people they start off with a great concept and then it finishes and you're like, what exactly happened? Um, so I prefer. I generally prefer if you watch my movies uh, a little bit open-ended, but a lot of closure. That's just how I do it. Um, but you know, you can you can have your own style. Uh, do what you like, but know that you're you're appealing to a certain type of audience when you're writing that type of script and treatment. Um, but that is that is going to be your skeleton. The treatment is going to be your skeleton for um, writing out that screenplay. And the treatment can change along the way. It can change, but at least you have a starting point. Um, okay, so number four is, okay, now you're going to start to dive in and then start actually writing this thing, okay? Um, and so I want you to remember um, that writing scripts is a very visual medium and it's very concise. So um, you don't get a lot of words to describe things because you'll lose the reader, you know, and then, um, you know, a lot of times, sometimes, you know, writers will leave things off the page. So you have to um, give enough information that, um, you know, the reader can generate a lot of imagination of, you know, who these characters are and where they are. Um, and so, like, that is the constant balance of, you know, keeping someone engaged because 
um, you know, the, the typical the typical screenplay is about 100 pages and, um, you know, one page, they say one page per minute, but you can read that page fairly fast. Some people can read scripts in, you know, uh, a minute per page or less than that, like maybe in even an hour for a script if you, you know, if they're super fast. Um, so, um, you know, obviously that's, that's very, very important. So, um, and then what they say about having the first 10, 10 pages super tight, it's obviously true. You know, if someone doesn't get engaged in the first 10 pages, then, um, you know, then they're probably not going to read the rest. You have to get their attention, make them like the character. Maybe it's through action. Maybe it's through, um, you know, quality of dialogue. Um, you know, maybe it's um, some sort of, you know, visual um, uh, description of a world, whatever it is, but you have to grab their attention. And again, remember that it's a visual medium. So even the dialogue has to generate a picture in someone's mind. Okay, and number five is start simple. Um, so, um, when I was making my first film, you know, like I had written a script, people are interested, people liked it. Um, but then we got into the, the place where, you know, we're trying to like, um, maybe get a potential cast for it. And then, um, you know, that cast was, um, not necessarily the main character. So we're making that character bigger, um, and more important. But I think what really keeps it all together is, um, the single character, single arc um, format. So, um, you know, and, and that was because a friend of mine had, had shown me, um, the book Robert, uh, that Robert McKee wrote story. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in the book, but what I took away was like, Hey, if you're a first time filmmaker or writer or whatever, then, um, you know, simplifying the story into that, into that, um, you know, single character, single arc. You can have other characters have, you know, um, arcs in there and they can be smaller arcs, but really focusing on that and doing that well, especially the first time is crucial to getting your, um, script looked at, um, you know, uh, to get it, um, you know, potential financing, whatever it is. Um, but, um, that is what helped me tremendously figure out how to make the story super, super solid. Um, and so, you know, this is a build, you know, when you're, you, you know, this is a building process. Um, your first feature film, you know, you're going to work on it so hard and, um, you're going to polish, polish, polish and rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. I did many times and, uh, you know, it will be painful. Um, and, um, but, but, um, having that, that strong foundation, will make it a lot easier for you to get to the creation stage was because you want, you know, if you write a script, you want people to see it and you want it to get made. So, um, that is a, that's a tip that worked for me. I'll leave a link to Robert McKee's book, uh, in my, you know, video below. Um, but yeah, so those are five tips. There's lots of tips. There's lots of stuff I could talk about, about screenwriting. Um, definitely just, you know, take this information and, you know, use it. And, and if you didn't like some of it, then you can totally, um, you know, look elsewhere. Um, but hopefully it helped you. And if, you know, again, if you pre I'd appreciate if you like, and then subscribe, uh, to the channel, cause there'll be more videos like this. And so thanks again. Ooh.